Now, one thing I read under YouTube comments all the time is people writing each other off for having fish that are supposedly too big for the aquarium. Now, I really believe that you are responsible for the well-being of your fish while you have your fish. But then, let's face it, they're not a cat, they're not a dog, they're not a child. They're there as a hobby and they're there for your entertainment and your enjoyment. So if you put a yellow tang in a tank that, you know, realistically a full grown yellow tang shouldn't be in, it's not the end of the world. But just don't keep it there forever. Because fish actually do admit pheromones and phenols. And as the fish grow, if you think that they're starting to look uncomfortable in the aquarium, then get rid of the fish. You can always take it to the aquarium shop and trade it in. You can sell it on the internet. You can give it to a friend. There's just a billion things you can do with that fish once it actually grows. And it's very easy and very clear when a fish is outgrowing the tank. But as far as the fish is concerned, studies have actually been done that suggest that fish have actually got no concept of their own growth. So the idea is to get the fish as small as you can and put it in the aquarium. The fish will admit pheromones and phenols, which will stunt its growth. And fish will live for ridiculously long periods of time. Most fish in an aquarium will way outlive their wild counterparts. Because obviously they don't have all the stresses of competition for food, competition for territory, and the constant threat of um, being a prey to a larger fish. So fish get a pretty good run in an aquarium as they are. So if you put a fish in an aquarium, small, and you let the fish grow in the aquarium, then if you start to see that the fish is potentially outgrowing the aquarium, either get rid of the fish, take it to your local aquarium shop, trade it in, move it on to another tank, or get a bigger tank. But I don't know why people have to criticise each other all the time. Oh, you've got a yellow tang in that tank and it's going to outgrow the tank. Well, who cares? Because you can deal with that as it grows. So as long as the fish is happy now, that's all you've got to worry about. Don't worry about later, because later you can change the circumstance. You can get a bigger tank. You can move it on. It's really not that much of a problem. Because I am absolutely a believer that change is king with fish. I see people that have the same fish for years and years and years and years and years. And the fact is you get over it. And the tank looks tired. And sure you've had those fish for 15 years. But the tank looks like you've had the, tank for the fish for 15 years. I really believe that when you set a tank up for about a year, you love it. For about a year, you like it, and after that, you've seen it. So it's better to move the fish on to a bigger tank. It's better to have some sort of contingency plan so that particular fish isn't in a fish tank too small, because I'm absolutely not condoning putting fish in tanks that are too small. What I'm suggesting is you buy the fish small, you let the fish grow, and then if it does outgrow the tank, then move it on. It's not glued in there. It's not a family pet, it is a fish and it is there for your enjoyment and while you're enjoying your tank and you're looking after your tank and you're growing in the hobby, then your fish are in very good hands. When you're keeping the same fish for 15 years and you're over them, then you don't tend to look after the tank as well as you could. You're not as interested in the tank, you've seen those fish. Same as Forrest Gump's my favourite movie, but how many times am I going to watch it? It's better to watch other movies. So I just think it's very natural to want to change your fish. I think you're responsible for the fish that you have, but if the fish are getting too big for your tank, get rid of them. And you don't need to criticise other people because of their fish selection. At the end of the day, if you see a fish in a tank that looks physically unhappy, then go for it. Criticise the hell out of them. But if you see a fish that potentially one day might get too big for the tank, then, you know, it's all nice to leave a little suggestion. Hey, look, by the way, you probably want to move that fish on when it gets bigger. But hopefully that person knows that anyway. 
But um, anyway, the point that I want to